Brittany here with Craft Amazing and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make these five super easy and cheap Dollar Tree Halloween crafts. Now if you guys are looking to make one or more of these crafts, um, you can also go over to my website. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on each of these with a list of everything that I used in case you guys are looking for anything. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys these so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start today's crafts by making some slimy soap. So what we'll need from Dollar Tree is a bottle of hand soap, and I chose green so it looks like slime, and also a bag of plastic creatures. So we're also going to need some rubbing alcohol, and this is kind of optional. We're gonna use this to remove some sticker residue if your label leaves some sticker like glue behind. And you can find this at Dollar Tree as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is remove the label from the front of the bottle and the back of the bottle. Now my soap bottle has leftover sticker residue, so I'm going to pour rubbing alcohol over the sticky glue. I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers and gently wipe it off. Next, we're gonna unscrew the top of our soap bottle, and then we're gonna get some plastic bugs and place those inside, and then we're just gonna place the top back on. And here you can see what it looks like when it's done. It's super easy to make, and my daughter absolutely loves to wash her hands with this soap. So next we're gonna make our hardest of these crafts. So this one is a skull centerpiece and we're gonna start by getting our Dollar Tree supplies. So I've picked out some really cool Halloween flowers that I like. Then we'll need some stones, plastic plates, this Halloween wine glass, and a plastic skull. Next we'll need some other supplies. So I've got black paint, a paintbrush, Mod Podge, a hot glue gun, and a knife. So we're gonna start by getting our wine glass. I'm gonna pull off the sticker on the bottom and fill the glass with our stones. This will keep it weighed down so it doesn't tip over later. And then we'll need to leave some stones for later too. Now we're gonna get one of our plastic plates out and hot glue the rim of the wine glass and place that plastic plate in the center. Next I'm gonna get some black paint and paint the entire wine glass and plate. And then I'll coat the entire thing in a layer of Mod Podge. Using the knife, I cut a hole in the top of a skull, large enough for my flowers to fit inside. Next, I arrange my flowers and place them inside the skull until I get it looking the way that I want. Now place hot glue on the bottom of the skull and place the skull in the center of the plate. Next, I take some leftover stones and glue them around the skull on the plate, and I paint those black and coat them with Mod Podge. So here you can see what it looks like when it's finished. I love these purple flowers with the eyeballs and these black rocks make the whole thing kind of look like a statue and the skeleton hand on the wine glass just makes it look extra creepy. For our next craft, we'll be making some bloody candles. So what I got from Dollar Tree was some plain white candles and some red tea lights. We'll also need a lighter, nails, and a hammer. So let's start by taking off the plastic on our white candle. Then I'm going to grab some nails and hammer them into the candle. Next I grab my red tea lights and light the wicks so they melt. Once they've melted, I just pour the red candle wax onto the white candle and allow it to drip down the sides of the candle. And as you can see, I've made three of these and they look really good when they're all together like this. And I would definitely suggest also, if you can, get some different sizes and just make it look really cool. Now we'll make some skeleton fairies. So what we got from Dollar Tree was a skeleton garland, a butterfly headband, and some floss if you wanna hang the fairies. And we'll also need a glue gun and scissors. So first we're going to remove the skeleton from the garland and I'm also going to cut the plastic hooks off of their skulls. Since these skeletons can't bend their arms and legs, we'll be cutting them at their joints. So you can cut at the shoulders, elbows, wrists, thighs, knees, and ankles, etc. Then I'm going to hot glue those limbs back on to create the pose of the skeleton I like. And then grab your butterfly headband and cut off your butterfly, then cut off the wings and hot glue them onto the back of your skeleton. 
Next, you can use the dental floss or a clear string to hang up your skeletons. So here you can see what my four skeletons look like. I've got some that are sitting um, and some that are attached to strings. Actually, my personal favorite is the one that's kind of sitting Indian style, but they all look really cool. So for the last craft, we're going to be making some spider magnets. So I'm going to get spider rings and magnets from Dollar Tree. We'll also grab a glue gun, knife, scissors, and hammer. If you found the smaller magnets, you won't need the knife and hammer, um, but these were the only magnets I could find. They've got these big plastic buttons on them. I want to remove those, which is why we're going to be using the hammer and the knife. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my magnet and I'm going to hit the, ba the back of the magnet. Words are hard. to kind of break that plastic button piece. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife to pop them out. And then I'm going to cut off the foam sticker attached to the magnet. Next, I'm going to cut the ring part off the spider, then hot glue your spider onto the magnet. I hot glue the spider's butt on it to make it look like it's got a big fat butt. I feel you, spider. Of course, you could use bigger spiders if you're using these same magnets. I did see some bigger ones there, um, but I didn't realize how big the magnets would still be and how small the spiders would still be. Um, but basically the same idea if you want to switch your magnets and your spiders. And I think they came out really cool, but next time I'll definitely find some bigger spider rings. So yeah, all of these were really super simple, super cheap, easy to do. Um, all of them were under $3 as well, besides the Halloween centerpiece. Now this one cost a little bit more just because of the flowers, um, but all of them came out really, really awesome. I think they were super fun and easy to do. Again, if you guys are looking for the step-by-step -step instructions or just want to pin this idea for later on Pinterest, you can go to my website. That link is down in the description. Um, but yeah, let me know. Oh, what was your favorite one? My personal favorite, but then I also really love these little skeleton fairies. I don't know. I love them all so much. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Still don't know how to end this video, so...